We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles, to gadget reviews, Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges, to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Many of us around the world are currently in lockdown. It means that our favorite pubs and restaurants are closed. It means that we can't see friends and family. And to be honest, it sucks. So we thought now is the perfect time to reach out to the ones that we love, our friends and our family, and tell them that we miss them. Unfortunately, none of the people I wanted to talk to were available. So I'm stuck with these two Muppets. Charming. I am 90% hair. <laughs> Boys, it's time to cheer each other up with some lockdown food gift deliveries. We've each been tasked to choose a foodie gift from a local business that's perfect for brightening up our days in self-isolation. And we're gonna start with a classic show and tell session. Right, first up, I bought a gift from me to you and your wife. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> this is what I've got. It's very weighty. Okay. What I've got you is the pancake feast box from London restaurant where the pancakes are. We've been there before. We know that they make amazing fluffy pancakes. Whilst they can't accept people into the restaurant, they can still send pancakes to people in the form of ingredients. So you have everything there to make 20 amazing pancakes. Okay, wow, oh my goodness. It just keeps on giving. I don't want to say that I ever underestimated you, but this is amazing. I'm fascinated because I don't normally use buttermilk. So I'm really interested to see the difference that all of this makes to the end result. I'll see if it's as easy putting it together and if it's as fun as it makes out, but I'm very much looking forward to this. Jamie, obviously for you, we know you're a barbecue man. There's a cow. There is a sticker that says patty and bun. So Jay, this is the lockdown DIY kit. Everything you need to bring the patty and bun experience into your own home. And when I say everything, I mean everything except for the lettuce and the tomato. I'm sure Lucy bought some salad at some point. I've never used it, but I'm sure it's there. <laughs> Classic burger patties. They look exceptional. Oh, this is incredible. Right? They're smoky patty and bun mayo and even better, it actually tells me exactly how to construct the burgers. HG Walter, is that the butcher that they use? Yep, so it's all of their same suppliers. So you've got the same ground meat from the butcher they would use, your brioche buns from Bread Ahead Bakery, that's who they use. Wow, that is cool, that is a good gift, Ebers. So obviously, Jay, you're a family of four, so that's one each, or two for mummy and two for daddy. Or. <laughs> They say size doesn't matter. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the two of them! <laughs> this is the original craft box from Crosstown Donuts. It's a variety of artisanal food supplies, including all the essentials, fresh fruit and veg, and that I'm not going to say most importantly, but very importantly, six Crosstown Donuts. The very donuts that I used to propose to my wife, who wasn't my wife at the time. And you've sent me six. What does that say? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I love Crosstown Donuts. I think when we did London's Best Donut, it was my favourite choice. And then all this produce as well. Wow. So what stood out to me about this gift is that it is a collaboration between Crosstown, but also Miller's Bakery and the Estate Dairy. It's what they call the Crosstown Collective, and it's just a load of great food suppliers finding a way to come together and get all their amazing produce still out to people even though their shops and restaurants are closed. That's so good. There's quite a lot of food there. <laughs> are you going to be okay? I could literally do 101 things with this. Cabbage, potatoes, carrots, onions, bread coming out my ears. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of a plate. Looking forward to this. I do not have a bowl, so I am using a saucepan. I like it vanilla -y. Am I? Am I? Yes, I am. Oh, let's melt some butter. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Melted. Very interested as to how Jamie and Ben are getting on. Burger, burger, burger. Flipping bacon one-handed is really hard. 
That is smoky. Burger, meat, grill. Mother Teresa, that looks amazing. This is fun, it's like ready, steady, cook. Oh! <laughs> Take the bay leaf out before you blend it. Oh. It's gonna drive some people mad. But I live on my own, so I don't care if I get crumbs in it. Let's check it's cinnamon and not Chinese five spice. <laughs> Boys, how did we get on? This is what I made. Oh, mate. They look so thick and fluffy. They're two C's thick. What a cross section. Yeah, pretty decent, eh? Um, I halved the ingredients because the packet said it makes 20. So I thought I could probably just eat 10 now, but I'm really happy with them. So in terms of the actual making process, it was really straightforward because the flour mix had not only the flour, but the salt, sugar, and raisin agent. I started off with wet ingredients, two egg yolks, along with buttermilk. Oh, it smells tangy. Vanilla essence, whisk that together. Then the flour mix goes in. I folded it all in, it went a bit lumpy, then added melted butter and then all the lumps seem to just disappear. Then, this is the interesting bit, you whisk up the egg whites that you separated earlier into stiff peaks and then fold those through ever so carefully. And I think that's where the big fluffy sort of thickness of these pancakes comes from. I love blueberry pancakes. So I'm gonna put a handful of these through the batter. Give it a flip. That is looking very, very good. In the meantime, let's get some bacon on. Last one, on you go. We're getting my streaky bacon on. Oh, hello. I mean, they look incredible. Let's see if all that hard work pays off. Oh yeah, they're absolutely delicious. I've never made pancakes this fluffy at home. It's genuinely a really, really excellent stack of pancakes. Definitely a box for a family. Um, and actually, really fun and quite simple to put together if you want to cook as a family too. Lovely, thank you. Glad you liked it. Jay, how did you get on? I made burgers, so I got on quite, quite well. I started off by seasoning the patty, getting it into the pan. Now the only thing the instructions didn't say was about adding any oil into the pan. What that meant was it got very smoky very quickly in my kitchen. Oh yes, look at that. The instruction said to cook the patty for four minutes on each side if you want it pink and juicy in the middle. Obviously because this was meat from a butcher, um, I went pink and juicy. Too right. Whilst that's frying, I can cut up my lettuce. It said baby gem, I've got romaine, and I can chop up my tomatoes. I have cherry tomatoes, we'll see how they work. It's a patty cooked, brioche bun, sliced in the toaster. Once the patty was done, slice of red Leicester cheese on top. You need to go under the grill to get even more yummy. In the meantime, crisp my bacon up, everything came together and it was just a construction job. Um, and the instructions had the exact way to construct it. This is the thing that I'm interested in. Bun, ketchup, baby gem lettuce leaf, one to two slices of tomato, beef patty with cheese. Oh. Oh, yes. Right, top bun. First up, smoky patty and bun sauce. Caramelized onions. I'm gonna cut the bacon in half so I can crisscross it. Top. Oh, look at that. That's a burger. Ooh. Oh, that is fantastic, mate. Good job. You're gonna ask me to be an Ebers and cut it in half, aren't you? So you can see inside. Absolutely, yes. Bum, bum. Oh, good colour. That is looking good. You've got all the layers. Right, I'm going in. I actually salivated as you put that in your mouth. Honestly, that is better than any burger I could make at home. I don't think it's as good as having the patty and bun burger in the restaurant. Okay. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> and the chefs there make burgers all day, every day. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how long each patty goes on for, how much seasoning to add. That is nearly there compared to the restaurant, but it is such a step above how I would usually make a burger at home. You've made a spaff very happy, Ebers. You really have. Ebers, what on earth did you cook with that plethora? Well, it took some thinking. So I started off with a donut and a caravan coffee. 
best day ever. This is such an awesome box. For like a family of four maybe. Eggs and fruit and bread and veggies and potatoes to go around and donuts to share. It's a pity I'm gonna have to eat them all myself. It's a good start. And then I thought, what can I do that celebrates the fruit and veg in the box that will change, I think, from week to week? So, I made a soup. So it's a sweet potato soup. I sweated off some onions, some garlic I had in the fridge, uh, bay leaf I had outside. Added the sweet potato, half veg stock, and half of that estate dairy milk. The estate dairy uh, is uh, like a, a collective of dairy farmers who they supply a lot of milk to a lot of the restaurants and top places in London, Crosstown Donuts included. Paired with the toasted rye and crackle bean egg, it's a gorgeous soup. That is simple but celebrates what was in the box. I'm not gonna lie, and maybe I'm stupid for saying this, but I didn't expect you to make a soup, even though a soup is the most Ebers thing to make. <laughs> But do you know what? Fair enough. It, it looks amazing. It, yeah. That egg looks so orange. That's a chef -y bowl of soup. Good. While this was bubbling away, I thought, why don't I make myself something with the ciabatta? Yes! Oh, well done! So I took the aubergine, I sliced it, I char grilled it, and then I marinated it in balsamic oil, lemon zest, some basil and mint from the garden. Uh, uh, salt and pepper, roasted off some tomatoes, charred the ciabatta. I've got a tiny rind of parmesan left. Some of our salad leaves. And that is a pretty decent lunch. I'm so proud that you made a sandwich. Like, it's taken lockdown to finally bring out some spaff in you, and I think you're better for it. It's simple, but it celebrates the simple flavours that come in the box. And then I thought... Oh, more! A man who lives on his own and now has four litres of milk should probably find ways of using it. Um, so I just made a, a shake. One of the bananas, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of honey. And I think that would make a great breakfast with some of the granola. It's excellent. And I've only just scratched the surface. I've got so much stuff left, it's unbelievable. Even put my fruit bowl out, it's on the side, so I'm more likely to pick at that than I will sweet stuff. Except for today, when donuts come first, because they're fresh. Well, I had high expectations, and I think you've met them. Well done, Ebers. Yeah. That is a cracking lineup. Do you know what? I think it echoes what you've both said, and that restaurants are awesome because they have quality produce. It means that not only are you supporting the three companies, but all of their suppliers. And I question when this is all over, maybe we can achieve that by getting ground beef from our butchers. Definitely have to stress that all of these individual products are available only in and around London. If you guys want to have a look, uh, just Google. I'm sure there'll be stuff in your area. Um, and yeah. I like that, you know, it, it's a new thing for us. And the people that run these kind of restaurants or food providers, they're our neighbours. And if you're in a position to support them, then do it because you want them to be there when we get out of all of this. Thank you very much, lads. Thanks, guys. Great gift. Thank you very much for watching. We hope that's given you some great foodie gift inspiration. If you've been watching Sorted for a while, you probably already know all about the club. We've actually put together some gift packages that you can send to friends and family as well. If you want to check them out, head to sorted.club forward slash gifts. In the meantime, give the video a like. If you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you do that. Most importantly, Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Oh, awkward long wave. I've, I've got, I'm the only one that can cut the camera. Bye. What a sexy burger in the sexies. You put the burger in the sexies and you make it all sexy. I really wanted, always wanted to do like a focus pull. If you pan and focus at the same time. Oh yeah, it's really hard. So don't do that. Oh, we've never done a sexy like this before. Backwards, forwards, over the Irish Sea. And then you're just like, pow, crash, zoom, focus. Poof, sexies. Oh, this is going to be in so many bloopers.